Hello dear Glitch Aficionados, so I'm glad to have your attention for this uh, maybe quick, medium, long video. So I just want to give a quick update about the, the progress of the recent weeks and even month. So that might be of some interest to those of you who didn't follow the project since the beginning. So yeah, let's jump right into it. You can see right there my workspace and so Without further ado, let's start that, let's run the thing. Okay, so I'll just walk you through what I've done so far. And so first thing, like let's speed about animation. So you have the hands, the pair of hands uh, of my character right there in front. And so if I don't touch anything, you'll see an idle animation where the character just kind of stretch or look at it's slingshot. Um, I'll wait further just to show you the other animation. So just some small details that gives a bit of life to their character. And as you can see, it's all randomized, so it may take a bit, but uh, if nothing's happened, oh, here you go. Okay, so you have this small animation that I think, um, yeah, gives a bit of life to, the, to the, the character. Also, if I just move forward, you see the slingshot going up and aiming forward. So just the player has a better idea to where it aims. He aims or she aims, sorry. Uh, yeah, my poor English, that will be, um, that may be funny for that video and who knows, maybe add to some production value. And uh, also, as you might have noticed, if I just stretches the slingshot, I can do that by holding the left mouse button. I can really shoot far. And so you really have to hold the key to, my God, that's hard. Um, you have to hold the key to shoot farther. If you don't hold in long enough, it just falls right in front of you. And so, yeah, that gives a bit of a depth to the shooting mechanics. Okay, and so this is about animation. You can also cancel the animation. It's not perfect, I need to work that out a bit, but you can cancel the animation and eventually there will be no ammunition shot. Uh, and I'll explain the reason behind that mechanics. That mechanic, sorry. Okay. Uh, Movement wise, you have uh, walking speed, uh, sprinting speed, which is a small difference, but it makes a lot of difference when you jump. So if I just go right there and jump, you kind of go far, but if you sprint, yeah, you can go really far. And that that is really important for the uh, platforming element of the, of the game. Okay, you also have a straight jumping mechanic and also a wall jump mechanic. So if I go there and just jump on the wall, I can jump multiple times. You can also, if you're, uh, if you're agile, agile, you can kind of climb. Not sure if I will keep that up, but for now, uh, this is what I got. Okay, now let's talk about those red, red red cube flying around. So as you can see, it's all a prototyping space. So uh, graphic elements aren't there. Uh, it's all in progress right now, but those red cubes flying around will be bugs. And when I say bugs, I mean really insects that uh, came to parasite and infest the game space. And because they are there, they are just messing with the simulation physics. And this is why you will have some glitch mechanics. Uh, then there, there are four glitch mechanics. So if you have to, if you have taken a look at the game design document on uh, my website, debughunter.ca, you you know that there is four game mechanics based on glitches. Uh, those mechanics are there. So those capsule here will be. Uh, representing the glitch artifacts that uh, you that the players the player will need 
to find in the game space to add them to a machine, a, a machine called the debugger. So what small machine here I made just for fun is called the debugger. And in the debugger, you have, uh, when you kind of cross the collider threshold, you uh, it just open an interface with various buttons that refers to the thing you can buy, which are uh, patches, I'll explain this later, and also the uh, glitch uh, mechanics that you'll find in the level. And so here is the, uh, the interface, the inventory of my player, this kind of wheel inventory. For now, I only have access to the rocks that I can shoot with my slingshot. And when you picked up those artifact when you f when first when you uh, when you will find them in the game environment you can pick them up and they will be add to your inventory and those will be ammunition or artifacts that you can apply on game object to create various glitching glitchy effects for instance if you take the demassifier which is equipped as you can see down there on the left with the icon of the demassifier, you will be able to apply them on object. And after that, those objects will lose their mass, will lose their gravity. So you can, after that, pick them up and just put them wherever you like. So they will float in the air and you can use them as platform. You have also the enforcer, which you can, again, apply on objects and this one I have kind of started to make some tests and what happened is it messes up with the velocity uh, of the rigid body of those objects and so when you pick up objects with enforcer applied to them what happened is then when you throw them you will your own velocity will be radically affected as you will see right now bang and the idea is that up here, there will be some platform, there will be some work of art, there will be a ton of things that can be explored and you will have to uh, perform up there to uh, reach those platform and uh, discover some hidden things uh, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and so you have the uh, demassifier, the enforcer, the switcher, again, you apply it on object throw that object around and then hit another key and you will switch place with that object. So the idea is just to place them or throw them at the right place and then switch place with that object. And the famous on collider, that will be a kind of ammunition that can be applied on surfaces like walls, floor, maybe ceiling. Uh, some object like that I will that I will be determining uh, soon and what happened is that it just removed the collider of that surface and so you can for instance walk through a wall walk through the ceiling walk through the floor and that's it so you will have all those four mechanics to manage in the game and so yeah Speaking of game design, it has some kind of uncertainty regarding the use of uh, the free use of those glitches without any kind of consequences or cost. And because I want to develop this message or argument uh, based on the idea that glitches are integrated or part of a ludo political economy, I want I really want to to include this uh, a, a virtual economy basically that um, forces the player to buy some instances of each artifacts so uh, from there glitches will glitches will be will have to be used more carefully more thoughtfully and um, and yeah basically telling the player that there's an economy around that artifact and um, and that using them, uh, whether you're conscious or not about that, you are participating in that economy. And there's a political dimension to that economy. And so uh, you, you better be careful. 
Okay, uh, and how can you uh, buy some instances of each glitches? So now that I've found them in the game environment, add them to my inventory, they are now available in the debugger. So you can now buy, for instance, if I, if I want to buy multiple demassifier to create uh, some bridges, some ladders, some stairs, some platform or anything like that. I can just come here and click on the demassifier button. And as you can see down there on the left, it just add up in your inventory. And now I have, for instance, three demassifier and I could use them on three objects to uh, create my own platform, my own uh, bridge, my own uh, ladder, etc. And uh, for now, I didn't reflect on the cost of each artifact, but as you can see, there will be a cost right there. So switcher is uh, two, cost two dead pixel. The currency in the game is called dead pixel. And uh, as you can see, I can't buy them right now. If you see uh, down there on the left on the console, it's written not enough dead pixels collected. And so how, do you collect dead pixel? Simple, you just have to kill some bugs. So those insects that are infesting the game space, you can just kill them without, without mercy uh, and collect those black cube that will be uh, designed as uh, the icon you see up there. And as you can see in my inventory, my add up display, I can just get those get those dead pixel and then uh, use them to buy uh, various instances of those glitches. Cool. Um, another thing, you have uh, this giant crack right here. Uh, this is basically a representation of the level or the game being broken. And this crack it's this crack is responsible to let them let those bug in basically and uh, the main task uh, as prescribed by the game uh, the, the game system basically uh, is just to close this crack fastest as possible and to do so you'll have to buy patch which are this wooden plank right here and when you'll have enough patch, you will be able to shoot them at the uh, crack and it will close eventually. And the animation will look like this. So when I patch the thing, it will just shrink like that and it will be closed. And you will be able to go to the next level because you will uh, have finished your task. But this is just one aspect of gameplay. There will be another possible scenario, uh, which is uh, a crack like this that will be hidden, well hidden in the in the in each level. So you, if you're curious enough, if you uh, use glitches on uh, in a really thoughtful manner, you will be able to find another crack like this. But this one will be already be patched. So the idea will be to shoot at the wooden plank and break them and doing so you will open the crack like this and you will let bugs enter the level and so you'll be on the side of the glitches instead of being on the side of the designer wanting to use your labor force or your gameplay forces to correct the game uh, in, his, in his or her place uh, and so yeah you will have this two option of gameplay and um yeah that's pretty much it um this is where i'm at right now maybe um just uh looking up there on the on the left there's a an experience bar that goes up each time you kill bugs those uh, i may uh, i may zap this up but the basic idea was to create a scam, uh, a scam that pushed the players to be performant. So to use glitches to be performant, efficient, and to 
um, to accomplish the objective as fast and quickly as possible. Uh, and that, uh, that bar and that level system were, uh, are there for that, just to show uh, the player his, his or her progression. So right now you see the bar has reset and the level goes up to one. Um, yeah, and as I said, this is a, a scam to kind of test uh, in what way or how much a glitch can push the player to just comply with the rules or uh, inversely just uh, be creative and transgressive and just ignore, ignore the main objective and just uh, tinker with glitches and have fun with the simulation. Um, and instead of killing bugs, um, releasing them, liberating them. Uh, and to get uh, to do that, there will be some art, a piece of art hidden in the level of, uh, in art to reach location and everything. And you will have the occasion or the chances to interact with uh, those work of art and when you for instance shoot at them they will be uh, animate they change color um, basically i just want to create this idea that the player uh, when they use glitches they become the creator of their own experience they become they they they, they kind of move toward an artistic expression or an artistic role if you can say uh, say it like that and yeah so when you will interact with those work of art, those uh, red cube that you see there, those bugs, they will be created. They will be spawned on location and you'll be able to, uh, to use them, to use their currency to buy more glitches and then explore more and uh, go deeper, deeper in the level. And if the player do so and become transgressive and kind of ignore this progress, uh, markers of progression, uh, they'll discover the real substance of the game and the real substance of the message behind Bug Hunter. Okay, I'll stop right there. Uh, if you listen up until now, uh, I thank you. Thank you for your interest and I'll maybe upload, maybe I'll upload other video of that kind when some concrete progress uh, has been made. So yeah, if you're interested, just uh, stay tuned. Thanks again.